It can be a hard place. I don't know why I asked you to come. Why don't you talk to him about it? Tell him how you feel. I can't. I don't want to be a burden, especially now. I'll get used to things, but I think I just need to talk to someone who's lived here for a long time. I mean, back in Sydney, it's a completely different environment. David, tell you I teach fifth grade? Yeah, yeah, you mentioned it. I've been going around looking at schools and stuff, but the conditions here are horrible. What about private schools? I don't know. Why don't you tell me what's really bothering you? David and I are having a baby. Tracy, I don't, I don't think I'm the one to be talking about this. I hate this city. I had a relationship once. Very much like a marriage. We got pregnant. This was this was a long time ago. I remember waking up one morning and going to work. Just another day like any other. Except this was the first day after I knew about, about the pregnancy. And and I felt this fear inside for the first time. I remember thinking, how can I bring a child into a world like this? How can a person grow up with all this around them? I told her I didn't want to have it. And over the next few weeks, I wore her down. I want to have children. Look, I can tell you now, I mean, I'm positive I made the right decision. But there's not a day that doesn't pass that I'd wish I'd made a different choice. If you decide not to keep this baby, if that's your decision, don't ever tell them you're pregnant. But if you choose to have this baby, you spoil that kid every opportunity you get. That's all the advice I can give you. I gotta go. Really? Thank you.